today's episode. We have a few interesting packages as always set up for your viewing pleasure. The 12 housemates will be granted interviews on their potential nominees for eviction as the day draws near. Want to know and learn more about branding and business strategies? Our next guest does justice to that, so you better stay tuned into this space. The next movie star. Housemate. Because I sat down and I gave it a serious thought that you guys need to be educated a bit. You are going into a very, very important part of this show. Some of you, if I decide to ask you why you're here, you might not be able to give me a good answer. Or moving on, if I ask you in the next three, four years, where do you want to be? It might turn to a jam question to some of you. However, I have gone through pain to select those who come into this house to hang out with you. Tonight, I bring somebody that I call a son is one of the best minds when it comes to event management in this country. Is an entrepreneur, a business strategist, passionate about branding, positioning and communication. Housemate. Yes, he has over 15 years of working experience in Nigeria communications industry. He has been involved with the best concerts in this in industry, like the Two Face 45, Afrima, Bond, that's best of Nollywood Awards. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity for you to learn as much as you can. Ask questions if you have to when it comes to that. A round of applause for Kingsley James. Kingsley, come in. Oh. Thank you very much. I think you can sit down. You sure? Can I sit down? Oh, your representation. Yes. Okay, let, let's see. Sure? Yes. Right. Some mixture of music talents. Awesome. I'm happy to be here. We're happy to have you, sir. Great. My name is Kingsley James. I'm sure they must have uh, mentioned me somewhere. You know, like um, the band sang one time, my friends or my Jamaican friends call me KJV. So I think I'm more comfortable with that. KJV. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm that righteous. I, I probably wrote some part of the Bible a long time ago. <laughs> so, um, this is a true representation of Africa. I've seen some snippets, seen that some love triangles have been going on. Um, <clears throat> what? <laughs> Are there confessions to be made? Uh, you sure? Yeah. It, it's. it's, it's, it's 
it's, it's, it's actually allowed at this time. You can, you can, you can confess. You know, I'm KJV. Yeah. You can confess your sins yes. so that tomorrow, tomorrow you just be fine. So, let, one confession, just one. Is there anything you have done in the house that you think, looking back, I probably shouldn't have done anything? You're proud of every step. Yeah. You're proud of every step. Yeah, I, I, you have a confession. Yeah, I want to say something. Great. Um, for the TNG, uh, I saw this person that I used to admire a lot. She was my coach, and um, mm -hmm. after the TNG, we went for the welcome party. Mm -hmm. And after the party, we like, as we enter the house, the very day we enter, someone like snatched her from me. So, <laughs> I was like, I was like, wow. Yeah. The person in this house. Yeah, uh, the person, my crush is in this. <laughs> <laughs> but the person who did the eye, mm. they are not here. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a lucky man. So I'm still trying to see how best I can. Crush. Get Good confession. The first healing that happens to every human is to first admit where you're wrong. Until you do that, there can never be growth, there can never be success. The next movie star. The, the next movie star. Okay? Now, because we live in a fast moving world, the world is connected globally. <clears throat> The speed at which we receive information kind of deceive us sometimes. So sometimes you believe the hype. I'm extremely beautiful. Oh, I'm talented. Oh, I can sing. Oh, I can act. Oh, the social media have 4 million followers. You believe the hype. My dear, you may not be as good as you think if you do not talk to yourself. I'm a man of many parts. I honestly do not even know exactly who I am, what, what really I have serious passion for. But today, uh, or rather in the last one year, I've um, got the need for directing, directing some, some big events, um, at least in Nigeria. And I've had to work with some of the best brains that there are in the area of putting events together. Three years ago, I was very passionate about branding. And so I was focused on how people perceive you. And I believe that every human is a product. And so what you make of yourself or how you are bought is dependent on how you are packaged. When I moved to the side of directing, I found out that, well, sometimes even your packaging can't help you because there are extenuating factors that are bigger than all what you have put in. So you need some bit of luck, which is defined as opportunity, meeting, preparedness. Correct? Yes. I'm sure you've heard about that before. Right. So. <clears throat> Um, so today I'll be speaking more about failure, but more about, but more about failure than success. And my reason for choosing that is because um, we tend to focus as human beings, especially as young people, in the area of creative art, entrepreneurship, and so on, much more on the failure than the success. The real success comes from you achieving your abilities. And it's difficult. You know why? Because half of us do not even know our abilities for starters. That's why that mirror is important. You need to ask yourself, do I only really want to play handball? Is that what I want to be? Okay, that's what I like to do, but do I have the ability to be a handball player? Who remembers Michael Flynn? His child was born 
Can we call him an imbecile? That's why he was the most practically almost useless during his youth. Right? Do you know what an imbecile is? Those ones that have <laughs> those guys. He probably I can't I don't know much of history, but I think it's the only one I know in recent time that have won nine Olympic medals in one competition. It's the highest in one single Olympic eight. So he could have told himself, you know, I'm an imbecile, just succeeding a little bit by going to class and just maybe making a living for myself. It's just fine. He could have told himself that. Some people would actually want him to be a doctor, maybe a lawyer, maybe the society wants him to be anything else. He looked within himself, found out his capabilities, worked on them, and became a success. Simple. So what are your abilities? Many of you will leave this next movie star house and will probably will never become a movie actor. What does it mean you have, you have wasted the time that you've been here? No. You have learned some key qualities, team spirit, right? You probably will never have time to learn that again. Ability to stay with people that you don't know and probably you don't like, and yet keep friendship for 30 days. Okay? That's one quality you're going to get out of here. You're going to learn perseverance. Those things are free. And those are the things you really need to succeed. Okay? So don't define yourself by me. See my fingers? And they're, not, they're never going to be. No matter how much I feed them, <laughs> they're not going to be equal. Except, of course, maybe I decide to go and steal and they decide to chop them equally. <laughs> Even that, after you wait a while, they will outgrow each other again. Alright? So, it's important that we see that. The next movie star. The next movie star. Those are the people who came with all their time up to this place. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they didn't get the job. <laughs> so, substance first. Okay? That doesn't mean you should sleep in the gutter. That doesn't mean you shouldn't you wear rags. That doesn't mean I'm saying the things that you need to live through are cheaper than you thought. A one thousand five hundred dollar fabric is six years. You can do you a top shirt. You can even do you some shoes if you're crazy. All right. But that one thousand five hundred naira is not up to ten percent or one percent of the cost of the wig. Do you really need that wig? Maybe. Maybe not. Right? But if you can afford the wig, that's fine. But don't say you're putting on that wig because you want to go and get the rule. That's what I'm saying. It's absolutely inconsequential to what will make you think in life. And that's why I went to Shola Fajabi. Shola Fajabi is an excellent present. It presents very well. It's brilliant. Trust me. I used to be his enemy. I used to be my competitor. We used to go to pitch on different grounds and we used to fight a lot. He hasn't changed his style of dressing. He was winning more business than I was winning. Even with his not in his head. <laughs> yeah. Ask him. Let me see. But great guy, correct? So his job, but if your job, if you're, a, if you're a news presenter, you cannot go on like that like Fadla Fadobi and not come here. Do you get? <laughs> so your job also defined a bit how you should, you should look, right? But don't keep your look as, except your job is defined by your looks. If you're a presenter, you don't come not comb your hair, excuse me, or don't be braiding your hair properly. Right? You get it? Any other question? I believe with these few points of mine, I'll be able to confuse you. <laughs> <laughs> So the corporate world is not friendly. Everywhere is very, very difficult right now, globally. So please, bring your A game to the party. All right? Yes, sir. You? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. So can I go now? Thank you.
the next movie star. Uh, my name is Del Colley and I'm from Liberia. Um, I would like to nominate one of our housemates for eviction and that person's name is uh, Ukachino, so Jennifer. And um, the reason is very simple. Um, acting is not all to life, but human relationship matters a lot. But from her, she doesn't have a good human approach, very arrogant, and um, there are a lot of problems some ha other housemates <clears throat> been facing with her. So because of that, for the past time, I've been thinking that she will cope with that. She always like feel within herself. She she knows everything. If she stays here or remain in the house, one of these days it might not be me. She will do it to someone else out there, and they will not take it for granted. So I think she needs to work on her attitude and um, her human relationship. My name is Ukachinoso Jennifer. I'm from Abia State, Nigeria. I would pick Pamela. And why? That's because when she came newly, she was someone that always wanted to strive hard for everything. But the ginger is getting low. And I don't feel she carry. I don't think she knows she's in a competition. My name is Pamela Piu. I'm from Liberia. I will nominate Onome because he's too playful. My name is Susan Echa from Cross River State, Nigeria. If I was to nominate a housemate for eviction, it would be Tonya Roberts. Um, we are here to try our best and give our A-games and we know it's a competition and before we came for it, we can never be too prepared, yes, but in the course of it, we don't have to maybe depend on everybody for something and we have to be strong in as much as we are humans and we show different emotions and all. Maybe just feel relaxed or nonchalant about it and I feel maybe she's too nonchalant about it or she's not sure of what she wants to do. I'm Davis Ipoy and I'm from Delta State, Nigeria. Oh, tough boy. <laughs> Um, somebody has to go, and um, if I'm supposed to nominate someone for eviction, I think it's going to be Tomiwa. And the reason I want to nominate her for eviction is because I see her like a cunning person, and she's not straightforward. She's she's too sly for me. And if I have any reason to nominate anyone else, it's going to be Tomiwa. My name is Kobe Champon from Ghana. I want to nominate um, Annabelle for eviction. Because I, I feel she's, she's not too, she's too relaxed for the tax. That's all. The next movie star. My name is Onome Amreb Mai. I am from Delta State. Which of the housemates will I nominate for eviction? I will nominate Tomiwa for eviction. Why? I'm nominating her because I feel she's not doing too well. She's not strong enough and probably she needs to go home for medical attention. My name is Modesinola Ugundimi. I'm from Oyo State, Nigeria. Um, I will nominate Nafisat um, because she's very sneaky. My name is Tonya Roberts. I'm from Edo State, Nigeria. Susan Etcher. And the reason why is because she's a pretender. She pretends she likes you then go back and say something nasty about you and still come to your front and still smile at you. That's to me, she's a pretender and I don't like that at all. My name is Tahad Nefisa Tomiwa. I'm from Castina State, Nigeria. House meets that I'm going to nominate for eviction. Hmm, Del. Why? Because he's too proud and he's too full of himself. That is why I'm nominating Del. My name is Christiana Atipu and I'm from Ghana. I would like to nominate Tonya Roberts for eviction because um, since TNG, she has been struggling to keep up and now the heat is, the program is getting hotter and she's lacking behind. And I spoke earlier on that she, she's the type that doesn't get joke self-control in argument and all that and she exhibited it last so 
this brand, I believe NMS is looking for people that will sell personality wise. She's got it self control wise, mm, I'm not sure, and um, human relation wise. Uh, so that's why I'm nominating her for eviction. My name is Annabelle Urumbe from River State, Nigeria. I'll nominate Chinoso for eviction. Um, Chinoso doesn't know how to mix with people, she doesn't know how to talk to people. The next movie star. Everything we see has been what we saw. You give me just a little bit to help us through. Inside you, the fire. 